So we're uh, in uh, tech line. We got to get the uh, Vipertect in. It's basically stock, so there's not, not much to look at. I uh, got to prove my insurance that it can drive on the road and that it's registered. Pretty basic stuff. Man. So I got us in the 90 stick class nice. because <laughs> I'm never going to run a 9. I maybe run a 10, maybe, maybe on a perfect day, but uh, there's only two other guys in it. So now I'm number three and I might get third uh, place. <laughs> <laughs> if any of them break or have a bad day and then you I'm could consistent, get second. I might get second. There's, there's a good chance I you could get, I could get first if one of them has a bad day and can't put down a decent time. I might be able to beat their averages. You're going to be on the podium. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm trying. Hey, shut that door small, bro. I know. It's a little baby. Little baby. Little baby? Yeah, baby doors. Okay. Oops. I was just calling James's wife. No, God. <laughs> This is the, the stomping grounds of where Uncle Chet was made. There's still a trailer up there. You were born here, dude. You were born here. I was conceived here. <laughs> <laughs> and you're the love child of me. You're the love child of me. You're the love child of me. I don't have my stickers on. Oh, you better get your stickers on. I can't remember my stickers. Yeah, do we have to put them all over the car again? Is that yeah, right on the door, actually. <laughs> just right here. Right on, yeah, right, it's just right where it counts, bud. <laughs> Put them on your wheels. See this off. There we go. That's how I work on it. <laughs> Done. Got it. Goal this week is to podium. I think I have a game plan. We'll see if I can execute it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's super competitive, man. But uh, it's so much fun to be out here doing the Rocky Mountain Race Week. And uh, I'm actually a sponsor. So the cool thing is like, Chilling with Chet is a sponsor for every leg in between the uh, the classes, every in between each racetrack. So that's kind of a cool thing. And my logo's all over it. So that'll be a fun thing to, to take a look at once we get rolling from uh, track to track. But right now, I'm about ready to run my first race. All right, good luck, bro. Thank you, man. I need it. I'm racing Parker. The jump a little bit yeah <laughs> jump then bog yeah. and then run a 12-1 i got a little room for improvement well my whole thing is like i didn't want to uh um, i didn't want to break the tires off and at least have fun and run it yeah yep. what's up stapleton last year whooped my ass <laughs> in the uh, Huracan and he had his Escalade, his nine second Escalade. Uh, the Huracan, I don't even think ran a 10 that entire time. So uh, he felt pretty good about himself. It was a lose-lose for me, uh, either way. <laughs> I lose if I win, I win if I lose. And uh, today is kind of the same thing, but I'm gonna whoop his ass today. I kind of sandbagged a little bit. I told him lower horsepower. Um, I think he's sandbagging though. He said he only has 450 horsepower, which I think he should have more of that big ass turbo in it. So this is a uh, 2017 uh, Range Rover Sport SVR. They come factory with like 550 horsepower, I think, which is kind of turned up for the, this particular engine from factory. But I did uh, tune it, put a pulley on it, a smaller pulley, and it's like a little over 600 horsepower, probably at the crank. I think it's like 500 at the wheels. I should be a little lighter than him too, so we're gonna really race though, like reaction time off the tree. If I lose, I'm gonna be hiding. I'm literally gonna avoid him because there's no way I'm gonna be on his video. 
I'll just be like gone. I'll just drive straight to the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're trying to. Like, do we have all this shit to do today? <laughs> uh, he's probably at the hotel. Yeah, he's not feeling good today. He, he must have lost, right? He's, he's got COVID. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's got COVID number two. <laughs> What's up? Hey guys, I apologize. So how do you think you're going to do? I don't know. I feel like he's got the edge on me, but maybe he doesn't. He sure does like that air conditioning, yeah, so he he's gonna you know get that blower nice and hot. Tell me a little about the, the uh, truck. Um, it's a stock, unopened, 200,000 mile 5.3 original engine. Um, Force Performance 72, 75 turbo, eBay manifold. I built the turbo kit on jack stands. It's got Boosted Boy Kyle's old intercooler on it from a Honda. Uh, it's got a 4L80 with an HD2 shift kit that I put in there. You got your GoPro set up facing forward? No, so you can get mine rear end? It's backwards so I can talk because this is generally so underwhelming. If I point it forward, it's just, and I'm like, wow, this is really boring footage. So when I came with my girlfriend last year, she stayed in the hotel room. She never wanted to come. This girl ride, ride or die with him. And they apparently hold hands when he races. Look. But, but <laughs> I would if they would allow it. <laughs> at, the, at that hood I track. I love her in, so much. At that hood track in Dallas, they let passengers zero with me all the time. Oh man, it's so sweet. Yeah, it was fun. You should film that. And then we get uh, relationship goals, memes. Yeah. With you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely is. All right, I'll let you finish the interview. All right. It's stock. You and you've dined on it before. Yeah, it made 450 the tire on uh, 10 pounds, 93 okay. octane, which You're is right. what this setup is. Okay. So. Awesome. You know those tires that you hooked up pretty good? Yeah, I, I put it in four high, so it'll bog down a little bit, uh -huh. but it won't spin. Awesome. I hope his uh, intake temp timing retard is just really, really conservative. So if the intake temp is like over 110 degrees, it's just like no timing. I got him on the time. I bet you I got him on the time. I just could not get a good uh, launch. All right, so I fucking was sleeping at the tree. <laughs> I've never, I've never drag raced where I had to like care about the launch. So um, I, I just kind of loaded up the throttle and the brake, and it, it doesn't really load at all. Uh, it bogged pretty hard, and I was sleeping. I'm not used to that tree. Last year they did a pro tree. I'm pretty sure they did a pro tree. It wasn't just the standard tree or whatever that's called. So I gotta get used to that again. But anyways, uh, he beat me, we're gonna grudge race all week. So it's kind of fun that I found somebody that has an SUV and we're very similar in time. Um, I ran a, let's see. He ran a 13.8 at 99 and I ran a 13.6 at uh, 103. So I mean, I, I ET him, but. Um, so at the end of the week, uh, you guys should put in the comments what the loser has to do. So we're gonna have a fun bet. I told him no matter what, we'll reface each other. You know the reface thing I do? I did a reface for him on his birthday and I turned him into a girl. <laughs> so I think he's kind of irritated with it. Like he, he wants me to redo a better one of him, like, like it's Rambo or some shit. But uh, I really want to beat him again. I'll turn him in like queen or something. So you guys got to comment like what I should turn him into on my reface app, which would be funny. And then, uh, but for real, we have to have like some sort of bet. I got to think of something. So if you guys can help me out, I'd really appreciate it. But um, we're going to race once a day or once at the track or whatever, wherever we go. So that'd be like five races. So it should be fun. So what upgrades this year? Just an intake. Same and turbo setup? Same turbo Didn't setup. Didn't I see that you changed it though? Yeah, like I, I, this year? I had the precisions on it and I uh, put the hearts on, but I ran the hearts last year. I was too old last year. Right, right, right. Uh, really the only major change is uh, the uh, intake. Crazy, I don't know what that is. Huh? What is it? That's the last panel. So when the uh, intake blows, 
Oh! Hey, it'll blast off instead of blowing the Are you going to run right now? I'm trying to. I got to get, get some ice in Last year, okay, so he built this car. It was a factory Camaro, like a, what are they, ZL1s or whatever? Yeah. And then he took it right to the, the race shop, wherever he had it built, and then they stripped it all out. Yeah, it's a ZL1. And they stripped it all out, turned it into a race chassis, but so he still had the VIN number so he could register it to drive on the street for events like this. And his goal in life was to run 200 miles an hour, and he did it last year. So he, uh, he burns up those turbos every race week and has to rebuild those turbos. They're insanely big. They're like humongous. They're like 100 something each. Again. Yeah, I definitely just want to see what it can do. This is for me to feel better about myself driving the Viper. <laughs> so I'm gonna launch a little harder. I might just blow the tires off, but we'll see. Jimmy over here in Ruby. He said he's gonna run a 756. Let's see if he can do it.
Say something about that. <laughs> see old, you see old snork out here? How about a little bit of turbo lag? <laughs> it literally boosts up there. <laughs> Gran Turismo. I don't remember what year, like PlayStation 2, yeah, but yeah, this was the car. Yeah, it was the GTR 4, yeah. This was the yeah, car. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still running all the time, dude. booty down there. <laughs> but he goes, it was just funny because he came out and he came out and he goes, is that a booty over there? <laughs> it's, it's like I just see him going to corner my, is that a booty over there? <laughs> no clue what's happening here and and then he's been picked on twice for filming too close and then he's got in trouble for laying sitting on the wall and everybody else has been on the wall the whole time <laughs> i'm filming in the area he got kicked out of nobody says shit to me <laughs> it's like they can tell i wonder what's different <laughs> there's something like different tell. there's nothing different I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. they can tell you're a new guy that's what it is all right, well, that's day one drag racing at Grand, uh, wait, wait, where are we? Great Bend, and uh, it's late, so we're going to wrap it up and see you guys tomorrow on the road. <laughs>